All right, this is Joe on Go with OK Raw.com. We're here at a Raw Foods potluck today, and why I'm doing this video is because I want to show you and teach you, you know, how to survive your first raw food potluck or survive any raw food potluck. And my techniques that I've used and refined over 15 years of being raw and how to survive. There's many people bring so many different kinds of things to a raw food potluck, and many people after a raw food potluck get sick, and you know it shouldn't be that way. So let's go over the food and let's check it out and, and share with you some techniques. The first thing I'd like to say is for potluck organizers, you know, to maybe make some guidelines for people that they should bring. You know, maybe one of the good guidelines to bring is that, you know, foods be, or raw foods be water rich. So it should be made of, you know, predominantly fresh fruits and fresh vegetables because we are, after all, 70% water. And if we're not eating at least that high percentage of water, the food's going to dehydrate us and we're not going to feel that well. So let's go over there, over here and check it out. Another thing for potluck organizers is that they should always require ingredient cards to let other people know what ingredients are in each potluck dish. Some people may have food allergies and the such, and it's always good to know because some people may not be, you know, they may be new to raw foods and they may not know exactly what you're, what they're doing, and some things may not be really raw, as we will see here in a second. So my main technique for surviving a raw food potluck is to, um, number one, as you can see, here's my plate. You want to go through the potluck line first and take a little bit of the things that you think will look pretty good. And that way, and then you'll eat that and then you'll come back and get the things that you like, that taste good, that agreed with you. Did you make that? So for example, in this recipe here, it, it lists they have a thigh cow dressing, which is organic, but you know, that's probably came out of a bottle. So you know, you want to be picky about the things you eat, and maybe you don't want to eat everything, and the other thing is when we get over, over to the desserts, now you want to eat your desserts first. And it's always definitely good to get as much, you know, greens or just fresh greens as a salad, whole with your meal, and you want to eat the fresh salad first to tell, or you know, after your fruit to help dilute or basically uh, buffer all the other kind of combinations of things that you'll be eating. So somebody brought something from the fresh deli, and this is coleslaw. But if you look at the ingredients closely, it has things like egg yolks and vinegar and soybean oil and even sugar. So you really have to be picky. Um, even even milk in here. <laughs> So you want to really be picky about what you're eating at the potluck and don't just dig in, always try to, you know, check the ingredients. So here's the salad greens. Now you always want to, you know, as you can see, this, this all the potluck food is getting rapidly eaten up. A lot of the dishes are empty. But, you know, most people won't grab the salad greens. And, you know, that's what should be the majority of your plate at a raw food potluck. You want to eat a lot of greens to dilute everything else that you're eating at the potluck. So many different combinations of foods and things like that. So if you are going to eat your desserts, you always want to eat your desserts first before you actually eat some of the um, regular entrees because they usually will digest faster if they're made out of predominantly fruits. Now if, you're, if they have a lot of nuts and other things that tend to be heavy and dense, you know, it's not optimal. Sometimes like tonight, I'm just not even going to eat the dessert because it's going to, you know, maybe not affect me that well. And if there's whole fruits and vegetables, you always want to eat your whole fruits first at a potluck. Even though it may not be exciting, it's definitely a safe food. So this is John Cola with OKRaw.com and I want you to survive your first potluck. If you have any questions about, you know, potluck foods and other things, please post them down below. I'll be sure to be responding to all your comments.